Happy St. Patrick's Day! Today we celebrate the patron saint of Ireland, St. Patrick, who brought Christianity to the shores of Ireland. Now growing up in Ireland, I obviously heard about St. Patrick, but I always thought of him as more of a legendary figure than a real historic man. And it wasn't until I went to college that I learned that St. Patrick wrote two letters and that I could read his very own words to this day. Now St. Patrick was born in Britain, which at that time was part of the Roman Empire for almost 350 years. In his letter, St. Patrick tells us that he grew up in a Christian family and that the faith was very familiar to him, although he also tells us that he had no interest in the Catholic faith. Around 400 AD, St. Patrick, at the age of 16, was abducted from his village by a group of Irish pirates and sold as a slave to an Irish chieftain and for the next six years he spent in the mountains in Ireland tending to sheep. Now when this awful thing happened to St. Patrick, he chose not to be bitter, but instead used this time of great suffering to come to know God, and because of this his faith strengthened. He says, After I arrived in Ireland, I tended sheep every day, and I prayed frequently during the day. More and more the love of God increased, and my sense of awe before God. Faith grew, and my spirit was moved, so that in one day I would pray up to one hundred times, and at night perhaps the same. I even remained in the woods and on the mountain, and I would rise and pray before dawn in snow and ice, and rain. I never felt the worse for it. I never felt lazy. As I realise now, my spirit was burning in me at that time. One night, when Patrick was sleeping, he heard the voice of God. Patrick, well have you fasted. Very soon you are to travel to your homeland. Behold, ship is prepared. So Patrick escaped and travelled the 200 mile journey until he recognised the boat from his vision, set ready to sail. Firstly Patrick was refused passage on the boat, but after praying to God, the crew changed their mind and he was allowed aboard. And finally, he returned to his home and family. Now after returning home, St. Patrick had another dream, but this time he heard the voice of the Irish calling him back to Ireland to tell them about God. Now this left a deep impression on him. St. Patrick felt inspired to return to Ireland, but because of his lack of education, he didn't feel adequately prepared for his mission. So he went to Gaul in France and trained for the priesthood. After 12 years or so, St. Patrick came back to the shores of Ireland as a bishop. Even though St. Patrick wasn't the first bishop to bring Christianity to Ireland, he was the first bishop to be successful. Because of his familiarity with the tribalism of Ireland and his understanding of the dark, cultish, pagan ways of the Druids, St. Patrick managed to convince the people of Ireland that there is only one true God. For 20 years or so, St. Patrick traveled the length and breadth of this island establishing churches and monasteries and schools. Today we pray that St. Patrick will once again intercede for Ireland and that this people will become the island of saints and scholars again. <laughs>